crazy legs, can't get beat your feet. We about to do it big. It's City Skid Dance. Beat Your Feet is a footwork driven dance. The whole dance just shows go go, the rhythm, the roughness, the rawness of the city. You see strength through go go. You see the underdog and beat your feet. doing our best to preserve the culture. This dance wouldn't be here without the go go music. Long uh -huh. live, go, go, from up go, go, to, to three, oh. Go, go has been here forever. Watch how I take him to church. Yeah. Watch how I take him to church. Our father of go, go would be Mr. Chuck Brown. He's the okay. one that birthed the whole go, go movement. It's a mixture of gospel, African beat, jazz. There's also a call and response. You're not going to be able to sit still all night long without getting up and moving your feet. Right here in front of the Howard Theater. Historic, means a lot to this community, you know. We had Chuck Brown play here, James Brown, Marvin Gaye. We know DC is Chocolate City, you know, and there's a lot of history here. Crazy Legs is so chill. And then when he dances, he has his 200 miles per hour movements, and it's like, where did that come from? He's just a legend out here in the streets. It's easy to follow him because you know that his heart is pure. I started at 11. Everyone was beating their feet back then. In the Southeast and across the area. It was like we represented for our neighborhood at the go-go's, at the club, at the parties. So that was motivating and influenced me to practice, practice, practice because I didn't want to let my people down. A lot of people just don't think a 25-year-old young black man from Southeast D.C. would be taking a go-go dance as serious as I am. When me and a couple peers in our generation started the Beat Your Feet Wave, it was kind of like, who does that anymore? That's dry culture. People falling away from that culture. Later, people just beating their feet, throwing up videos, Walking up to me, hey, ain't you the guy that do the Beat Your Feet videos? Hey, you amazing. I saw a lot of them and I learned from them coming up. So when it was time for me to get out there and represent for the females, it was like, okay, I know what to do. And then I brought all of my girls with me to learn too. That's how we keep the legacy going. Each one, teach one. Beach of Feet is a lot of footwork, but along with the footwork, you gotta have facials and your arms gotta tie in with your feet to add that swag. I think when I dance, I give out great energy. I don't have no negative energy in me or around me. Honestly, I can say if I ain't had a dance in my life, I'd probably be in somebody's jail or in somebody's grave. Here on Florida and U Street, this is an area where the Don't Mute DC movement was sparked. Thousands of people, man, no problem. And it's strength in numbers. And what they say? A white guy came and bought a building a block away, and he 
made the store owner turn the music off. How can you come to a person's city and tell them to turn their music down when we were already here? The GoGo community came together. They trying to mute GoGo, -Go, but we not letting it happen. If we let it go, then what DC gonna be like? The significance of the movement was finally making go-go music the official music of the District of Columbia. At the Boys and Girls Clubs, we are creating our own battle league. Five, six, seven, We're teaching eight, youth about one, two, being accountable. Two, three, skip. All right, clap it up. And just kind of building a brotherhood and sisterhood type of movement. Google will always live here. You could dance on the side of the street and people would know what you're doing. It's like a secret handshake. Hey, this is the one and only Crazy Legs, King of Beat Your Feet. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of If Cities Could Dance, swipe this way. Peace.